So let's get right to it. The ATF needs to go. I don't think it's specific to just them. I think that this is a general symptom in our government. I see this in terms of the SEC. I see this in terms of um, the FBI, the Justice Department in general, uh, Homeland Security in general, the attitude, the behavior by these agencies, by these departments. This is this is like one giant RICO case. Um, as Mr. Guns and Gear talked about earlier this morning and it prompted me to finally make this video, they not only maintain a database, which is illegal, they're maintaining a, a firearms registry in this country. That is not legal for them to do. That is, that is absolutely 100% illegal. Um, their argument was that it isn't searchable. It's searchable. They were using OCR software. Well, then there's another law that says you can't maintain a database like that that is searchable by name or personal identifiable information. Uh, you know, so an ID number that is then attached to your name kind of thing. Oh wait, it is. Their argument in defense of this is that, well, we don't check the little settings box that, that enables that. Really? This is the agency that says that a chunk of aluminum equals a gun because you can turn it into a gun. This is literally, I mean, they, they, they're going after 80% lowers. And then their interpretation of that is that anything that can be then modified to become a gun is a gun. So if a solid block of aluminum, you know, like you would go buy at, at McMaster car or every machine shop in the country has, and let's keep in mind, this isn't just about an AR-15. A, a pen light style gun is a gun. As far as they're concerned, your Mont Blanc is an assault weapon. So yeah, the federal agency that says that your paperweight, your solid block of aluminum, steel, titanium, whatever it is, is either a gun or suppressor because you might do it. That you're a felon because you might do something. Is saying that they're not a criminal because they won't do something. That they specifically purchased software that lets them do it. They created the criminally not allowed, like the, the illegal database in the first place, but then we're supposed to trust them to not commit a further criminal act of clicking a checkbox setting in their software. The kind of thing where you can click it, do your search, unclick it. No joke. Like that's, that's how that works. Um, I don't believe them. And I think they need to go to jail. I think they need to go to prison for a very long time. Everybody from the top down who was involved in that purchase, involved in setting up that database, used that database, knew about that database and did not say anything. You are all criminals. You are all absolutely criminals. So if you are an ATF agent, my advice to you is to quit. My advice to you is to be a whistleblower. Go talk to the Congress people who are trying to get this fixed. But you need to retire now because otherwise you're continuing to commit a crime. Every day you go to work for a criminally corrupt agency, you are a criminal. So anyway, ciao guys.